Today we're going to be learning about multiplying and dividing decimals. We will begin with multiplying decimals. And there's three main steps for multiplying two decimal numbers. First, you need to multiply the numbers without their decimal points. Second, then starting on the right, count how many total places there are over to the decimals themselves. And finally, step three, you would then count the same number of spaces in the answer beginning on the left side. Then you would insert the decimal point in this location. Let's go ahead and try a couple examples. We'll call this first one example number one. In this problem, we're going to be multiplying 6.25 times 3.9. As we said in our steps, the first thing you want to do is multiply numbers together, just like you would any other number. 6.25 and 3.9. We say 9 times 5 is 45, carry our 4, 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22, again carry your 2, 9 times 6 is 54, plus 2 is 56, now let's go over to our next column, 3 times 5 is 15, carry our 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 3 times 6 is 18, then we would add these up, 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, 6 plus 7 is 13, 8 plus 5 plus 1 is 14, carry on, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, we've got our answer, but we have not included our decimal points, so we are going to come back up to our original numbers, and we'll count over from the right. How many places to the decimal point? One, two places there, and one. So I got two here and one here. We're going to add that together. That's three places. So I'm going to start in my answer on the right-hand side. I'm going to move over three places and insert that decimal point. One two, three, to this location, so that my answer to 6.25 times 3.9 is 24.375, and that is my answer. Let's go ahead and try one more. We'll call this one example two. Okay, in this problem, we're going to multiply 12.08 times 1.4. Once again, you come to your scratch paper, and you can write in 12.08 and 1.4. You've probably already noticed that with multiplication, you just line up all your numbers over on the right-hand side. Now, if we were adding and subtracting, we would want to take and make sure we put our decimal points in the same location. But when you're multiplying or dividing, that's not the case. All right, let's work this problem. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry your 3. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and we're going to add these numbers up. 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 8 is 11, carry our 1, 1 plus 8 plus 0 is 9, 4 plus 2 is 6, 
and 0 plus 1 is 1. Once again, we want to look at our original numbers to find out how many decimal points there are. So you start on your right-hand side, moving to the left, you count 1, 2, and on the bottom number, you move 1. So 2 plus 1 would be 3. So we want to start in our answer on the right-hand side, and we're going to count over three places. One, two, and three. So that we now know that 12.08, or 12 and 8 thousandths, times 1 and 4 hundredths, is equal to 16 and... 912 ten thousandths and that would be our answer to our problem okay let's go ahead and look at a couple of division problems before we do that though we need to take and look at the steps involved in completing a division problem when de decimals are part of the numbers So our first step for dividing the decimal by decimal is you would need to change your divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right. And then you would have to move your decimal point in the dividend, the same number of places that you moved your decimal point in your divisor over. After doing this, you need to place a decimal point in the quotient. If you don't go ahead and do this, you might forget to put it in there, and it's very important that you move it up. And finally, you just divide as you would any whole numbers. All right, let's go try a couple of examples of dividing decimal, a decimal number by a decimal number. Let's start out with, and we're going to call this example number three, Example 3, and we want to divide the number 48 and 6 tenths by 9. In this case, we're alright, we won't have to take and change our quotient. So we can just rewrite our problem, 48.6 or 48 and 6 tenths divided by 9. And we know that 9 will, will not go into 4, but it will, however, go into 48 5 times, because 5 times 9 is 45. 8 take away 5 leaves me 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm going to move my decimal point up, and I'm going to put it in my answer. That way I won't forget. Then I'm going to move this 6 down. And now I need to know how many times will 9 go into 36. And we know that it will go into 36 4 times because 4 times 9 is 36. And we know that 6 from 6 is 0 and 3 take away 3 is 0. So that 48 and 6 tenths divided by the whole number 9 is equal to 5 and 4 tenths. There is our answer. Now let's go ahead and try another example. We'll call this one example number 4. Example number 4. Now, here we want to take and divide 79 and 36 thousandths divided by 3 and 2 tenths. Now here we've got to move this decimal over. So we're going to we're going to take 3.2. We're going to move this decimal over to here. And we're going to write 32. Now, we have to do the same thing in the other in our other number here. We have to move it over the same amount of times so that now we've got 79 and 36 hundredths will become 700 
90, 3, and 6 tenths. Then we just divide our numbers out. So we're going to come over here, we're going to say 793 and 6 tenths divided by 32. 32 won't go into 7, however it will go into 79. 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 9 take away 4 leaves me 5, 7 take away 6 leaves me 1. I'm going to bring this 3 down. Now, 32 will go into 153 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's subtract this. We cannot take 8 from 3. We have to borrow. 5 becomes a 4. We move that 1 over. Now 13 take away 8 leaves me 5. 4 take away 2 leaves me 2. And 1 take away 1 leaves me none. Now I'm going to move my decimal point straight up so it's in my answer. I don't want to forget it before I move this last number down. Now I've got 256. 32 will go into 256 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry my 1. 8 times 3 is 24 plus the 1 is 25. And we just subtract. And 6 from 6 is 0. 5 from 5 is 0. And 2 from 2 is 0. So that we know 79 and 36 hundredths divided by 3 and 2 tenths is equal to 24 and 8 tenths. And there is our answer.